Hello and welcome to CareerCast. I'm your host, Elizabeth Quinary. And I'm Cody Hack. Practicing the charisms of service, mercy, justice, and hospitality, students in the Honors Program at MU donated their time to make toy chests for the Catherine McCauley Women's Shelter in Plymouth. The chest will provide a new home for all the toys used by the children. Career cast Shane Weinstock takes a look at the project. I'm gonna go ahead and Students in the honors program hammered, clamped, and drilled to make the toy chests for less fortunate children. They're going to go to uh, the children of homeless women uh, who are served by the Catherine McCauley Center. The Catherine McCauley Center services about 1,800 individuals a year and providing transitional housing for uh, women, uh, both single women and women with children. The idea to make the chests came from a call to service for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I thought I might try to get some of the students interested in one of my hobbies, which is woodworking, and uh, also uh, produce something. That's why we're calling it a make-a-thon. It's something really important for a kid to be able to have like a toy chest or something and fill that with toys, because it's, it's kind of almost like their dreams. So if they have somewhere to put their dreams, then isn't that a good thing? The toy chest the Honors Program made will come here to the toy room. All these toys at the Catherine McCauley House will now have a place to be stored. I think it's going to be a good thing, you know, clean up with us, you know, like, we, you know, be all in one spot, like we can put them in the toy chest, and it will be organized, you know, like it would be a lot better. Students, I think, will enjoy projects um, the more they can get involved and also the more they can take a uh, leadership role. Volunteers at the Catherine McCauley House will be excited to see the toys finally put away. This is Shana Weinstock for CougarCast. February is Black History Month, and to celebrate, the Diversity Institute and the English Department joined together to host poetry sessions throughout the month. The literary celebration started on February 3rd with Harlem Renaissance Poets and the Honor Students' Reflections. A live jazz musician also performed. Festivities will continue on February 10th, where students can donate canned foods to a local food pantry. On February 24th, students can take part in the Deaf Poetry Jam and they are encouraged to bring their favorite poems to the events. With the cold weather, a whole new set of things for students and faculty to do. We hit the streets to find out what some of your favorite winter activities are. And that's our Man on the Street. Well, I enjoy walking if I'm bundled up enough. And um, I have a little dog that enjoys playing in the snow, so I love watching him. And um, I love downhill skiing. Haven't been doing it for a while, but it's a great season this year with all the cold weather and snow. And I also enjoy reading under a nice little cozy blanket in front of the fire. I love to ski. Downhill skiing, definitely. Snowboarding. Definitely snowboarding. And there's so many good mountains up here. I actually just went yesterday, and it was a really good time. Really nice weather. Great exercise. So it was fun. Sledding and snowball fights and playing in the snow. I, like, uh, I usually like walking my dogs, but here at school I... I like uh, just walking outside, you know, nothing, re nothing really special. But <laughs> My favorite wintertime activity is getting hot chocolate right after I've hit the hills. This year, Misericordia introduced a new club on campus, and these girls can really bust a move. You're right. The dance team has started performing at the basketball games during halftime. Cougar Cass and Gownley takes a look at their routine. More than a dozen female students have joined together to form the Misericordia dance team. A bunch of us girls took jazz dance here with Gina Malski, and one of the girls said, it'd be so cool if we had a dance team here. And I was like, let's do it, girls. The dance team right now, it's just kind of getting off its feet. So right now we do a few basketball games each semester. Um, we're doing two different dances, so that'll mix it up a little bit. The members of the team come from all different skill levels. Uh, to keep it simple, we usually have two or three people kind of get together and they put the dances together and then they teach them to us. Twice a week, the girls get together to practice routines, but some prior experience is required. If you're not trained, it could definitely be kind of difficult for you only because the people making up the dances are trained and they want to make them at a high enough difficulty so that it looks good and it will be a real performance for people. The team is always looking for new members. We're still like, if anyone is interested in joining, if they want to just come and dance, you don't necessarily have to perform at basketball games, but if you wanted to just come work out and have fun and just have fun dancing, that's mostly what we're here for and we all really enjoy it and I couldn't do it without these girls, none of us could be here and I'm really proud of everyone. Even though Misericordia's dance team is a new club on campus, they're hoping to make a lasting impression. 
For CougarCast, I'm Ann Gownley. Still to come, CougarCast Amanda Janiga takes a look at why some students may feel depressed during the winter. Also, we have our sports report featuring women's basketball and cheerleading. Stay tuned. <laughs> 